This is the pole vault challenge. We're with viral pole vault athlete Sana Grillo and the world record holder Slidis Mode over here in Malta. What do you expect from us for our first time pole vaulting? I'm sorry to say, but my expectations are a bit low just because I remember when I tried it, I had been doing 10 years of gymnastics and I still wasn't getting it. Do you expect us to jump? No. No. <laughs> That's the challenge of today, guys. Will we clear a jump? We've got Slidis Mode, who's literally a military specialist at this point. I think like if he's a military specialist and a world record holder for dips, he does 151 kilos. What's stopping him from jumping two meters? He's almost two meters tall anyway, so. <laughs> Do you like running? No. No? And when you be by now, what's like, how, how do you hate it? A lot? A lot. Like on a scale of 10, I hate it 11. <laughs> then you're good for pole vault, because we hate it too. Okay, let's, let's, get, let's move on to the boring part where we're warming up, and then we get to the fun part with the actual pole vault jumps. I feel like <laughs> the game. <laughs> hey, bro. So Sana has been a Maltese athlete for the past 10 years. She used to take part in gymnastics. She moved into athletics. What had you started first with? What discipline? How, funnily enough, sprints. And the, the run of the pole vault, how long is the actual like distance you should be running for? Well, if you're going to look at the top male from the very, very end. Mine is like 24. 24 meters? <laughs> Women don't run as much as men. Why? Obviously, men have much bigger poles. They need more and more speed. Though. Just so you know, guys, last month, Someone posted a video from Sana on the, at the European Champs and it blew up viral. It went up to like 6 million views. And now everyone's messaging, everyone's commenting on her videos, everyone's liking her posts. And we're like, okay, let's get this going. Sana's a viral athlete now. Are oh, you making me blush? <laughs> Taking off with the left, right arm up. And then you go like this. And you push up. Fuck. So basically, that's just when you're on the pole, that's what you have to do in reality. Holding the pole right we're holding the pole right now. Not bad. This is like some fancy shit you do in bed, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. Go, Slidis. <laughs> yes. So we'll start with low knees into high knees. <laughs> Two. Basically, those are the running drills. So now we start with the pole. I just don't want to injure myself. So we'll just do our best. Let me show you how to hold it first. The pole is on your right. So now if you do this, you'll notice that the pole has a bend. We're going to hold it like this. And when it goes into the hole and it's pushing, then it bends that way. So you're going to grab here and your hand, you're going to just turn it without moving the pole so the bend doesn't move. Exactly. And you hold it like that. Because when you're doing it, your right hand is always next to your hip and it's always moving forward. And then you have to go like that to jump. But on the... What? What hey. the Guys, by jump, 1.99 meters. Today is a success. This is going to jump 4 meters. So. 4 meters. <laughs> so first we're going to just do dragging. So what it is going to be, it's going to be 4 steps, empty. Next to arm to here and next to is when we take off. You turn, turn it. Yep. Well, Not bad. You and just lifting like this. and back down. Right arm, right arm, go right arm. Has to go to your ear and lift it up again. <laughs> so the last one is going to be like both of them combined. So we're going to go like this. Push the pole down and drop. <laughs> first things first, like from gym bros, like our wrist mobility sucks and you have to literally hold it like this. And yeah, like my this. wrists are hurting. My wrists are in pain. Secondly, we came here too overconfident. Like our egos as usual, way too high. And now I'm actually scared. Probably never felt so demoralized by a sport. Like Sana makes it look very easy, but it's, it's ridiculously hard. You feel like you're an idiot doing it. You look like an idiot and you're probably going to get hurt. So I'm looking at Slidis a lot. This video, guys, if we actually jump it, Sana's a good coach, like a really good coach, because we're completely daft and don't know what we're doing. So if, if we're managing to jump, make sure, make sure like you <laughs> reach out to Sana if you want to get some good pole vault coaching. The drill we're going to do next is when I just hold it from here, straight arm, run and just keep running kind of and jump the last part. That isn't too bad for your shoulders? That's why you had to stretch your shoulders in the beginning. No, my shoulders are destroyed. The 
Yeah, jump key. <laughs> Fall down. <laughs> Fuck. It looks so easy, but it's not easy as at all. She makes it look easy, yes? <laughs> so trying the drills for the past 20 minutes really makes me appreciate the sport. Like it looks so easy when you guys are just jumping 3.7 meters casually. And I'm here feeling like, what the hell am I meant to do? So man, it's crazy. If I do this road to Olympics, if I don't, I retire. Okay. It breaks your confidence. I've been very quiet the whole challenge because it's very difficult. You think it's easy and still this has been trying to perfect it. The technique is very difficult. You have to do so many things at once. It looks so regimental, but it's so difficult, man. I don't know how the fuck these athletes do it. The pole has stripped me. Nice. Still this is just zoned in. It's trying to get it. Road to Olympics. Greece has called him yesterday. They're like, this man, we need someone in pole vault. Can you do this? Uh, there's like, one of my favorite pole vaulters, is Greek. <laughs> <laughs> it's silly this or no? It's not silly. Uh, no. <laughs> and and Slidis was like, of course I can do this. Madonna. He said, he told them, give me one year. So he called us, he's like, guys, the Greek <laughs> national team called me. They want me to participate in the Olympics. They're like, okay, we will try and get it. Bro, I will take your place at the Olympics, man. You snooze, you lose. My God. Bad. Ah! Now I felt a bit like Sana. You know, in the video, I slid, she like falls back. Well, I'm happy they understand how difficult pole vault is now. Bro! Bro! That was amazing! Hello, Greece! Come on! Whoa! Whoa, Zidis! Bro! Bro, that was exactly like Sana in the video! Let's go, bro! Paris! Paris! <laughs> Yo, that's fucking insane! Hold on. <laughs> what was that? Guys, I like I left for five now. minutes and I'm she seeing Scott and Slid yep. this jump. I'm like, shit, you know, I need to up my game now. This is the final jump. We're gonna cheer him on. Airplane mode on, baby! If I sit Just here so for two see. more hours, so I will do a proper jump, I think so. Yeah. It's the hard. But I expected it to be hard. I never overestimate Azad. myself of these things. I have confidence, but not overestimation. But I know my abilities, that if I put my mind into it, I will do something with it. Slidis has lost his pole vault virginity, because apparently when you fall properly, like he did in the video, he is actually a pole vaulter now. Look, he's crying. You get a special military... Look, he's crying, he's crying. And that's a wrap. We did the pole vault challenge. Unfortunately, it's way harder than it looks and it makes us appreciate the sport. Shout out to Sana for being super patient with us because I could not get the grip right today. So there's any comments from your end? I saw you at the end doing some crazy jumps and I just want a bit of like a one minute reflection on today's activity. It was awesome, to be honest. She explained everything perfectly. At first we were like newbies. Uh, we're still newbies, but we're a little bit better. <laughs> and it was fun. Like when you're flying even for like two, one, two seconds in the air, it's, it's, it's fun. What she's doing is amazing and respect. <laughs> Thank you. Wish you the best in your sport. And stay careful. I'm just happy you guys enjoyed it. I am really happy though that you guys understood. But uh -huh, I think uh, your exp expectations should have been a bit lower. Just a smidge. <laughs> you can tell we had so much fun because he got so dedicated he started crying when he didn't manage so uh, that shows you know what a true athlete he is and it was brilliant so no it's true uh, yeah. he, he was a very hard worker with a few months of practice you'll be jumping for sure yeah. Yeah. <laughs> road to Paris guys so if you like that video make sure to like and subscribe and comment if you want to see a part two comment below part two guys we will jump we promise that one promise we will Thank you for watching.